Bang, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Time Spinner. All right, there's a few things I want to do this episode and explore. First, we got another quest, probably. How can you still support them, Haristel? My job, my duty, is to defend our people. We've stopped the genocide, weakened demonic influence. You're telling me these are bad things? Of course not, but good deeds with bad motivations. You're questioning my integrity? No, I'm questioning Valette's. Haristel, our nation, our home, they've done some terrible things. The sh social order Volterilis has set up, privileging those with magic above all others. So I'm supposed to be ashamed of something I have no control over. No, you just can't force others to live in subjugation because of something they have no control over. Our hegemony... Hegemony... is corrupt. It's, it's awful. Just look at what Hashem has had to go through. Follette has done great things for our planet, our people. Maybe for some of us, not all. This is treasonous talk. Who's going to banish me, Haristel? We're already stranded here. I just... You're speaking as if Follette has no redemption. You're speaking like a Lashemi, a people who consorted with demons to accomplish their goals, who almost destroyed our whole world, and who have regretted those moves. I'm not siding with them, but... I don't know, Rameda. I... I can't say you're entirely wrong, but I can't believe Valette is as bad as you're saying. It's done so much good. What evidence can you give me? What evidence could I possibly get? Valette still exists now, in my time, which means there will be history books, or data files, or whatever, in Varndegray. Maybe even historical documents, if I can get into more secure areas. Maybe the Lashemi have records. Yeah, maybe. Fine. If you can truly show me, then I will give up on Valette once and for all, as you all seem to, ha to have. Haristel, enough. Thanks, Lune. Alright, so I can find historical documents. Let's see. You have anything else for me? Nope. Not yet. We got guns. I can't wait to go and shoot some things. We're before we go back to the future... Oh, hey! Hey there, you're looking good. <laughs> you flirting with me? Not quite my type, Lene. I wouldn't want to go get between you and Seikus anyway. I meant to say, you look healthy. Still a bit weak, but I've been walking a little, thanks largely to you. Romeda did all the real work. I was wondering if you could do one more thing for me. Sure. I want to, you know, go on a real date with Seikus. No more of this bedside flirting, a real date. Good idea. Problem is, I want to get out of the camp, and, well, I'm not exactly in fighting form. There's a waterfall out in the woods that's nice and relaxing. If you could help me get there. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Let me know when you're ready. We got a... Uh... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's just do it. Alright, let's head out. I'll follow you. So there's a waterfall out here. I guess we're going this way since we're facing this way. Maybe. Oh my god, it shoots from that far away. Wait, how come I can't... What the heck? I guess if you're too close, you can't shoot things. Oh. Interesting, because she doesn't aim down. So this is more for flat surfaces. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, it shoots straight ahead. That's still no problem. I mean... Ah. Okay, never mind. We gotta... Because this thing... Potion. I don't know where we're going. This plasma is really cool, but it uses up uh, mana. But whatever. It's still pretty amazing. I guess I was going... Oh, here we go. Here we are, Seika. Sh here we are. Seika should be here soon. Oof. Need to catch my breath. You look nervous. Oh no, it shows? Don't worry, it's cute. I hope so. Ashem? <laughs> oh hi, Lune. Um, don't worry, I'm out of here. Hey. Uh, hi. Stay safe, you two. <laughs> nice. We got put him on a date. It's good, good stuff. I like how this game, you know, it bends traditional thing. There's like two guys going on a date. There's, uh, 
It's a very feminist game as well. I like, you know, all the non-conventional type of things going on in this. There's, uh, what's her name? I always forget their names. Naliste and everything with her. Good stuff. Anyway, so now we just got to... We teleported here. Now we have to backtrack. Like, where? I guess we could have just kept going straight. Is there anything else we could do here? Oh, I want to go all the way over there. I want to try going up those in the castle. But I guess since we're already over here... Bang, bang. Oh, man. All right. Oscar's becoming quite a beast. Boom. Wait a minute. Where? How do I get to that? I can't get to that. Oh, we got to go to this one. I'm just skipping these things. I think I could probably get across this now without worrying about having the freeze time. We're poisoned, but whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Yes! So I'm wondering if the game wanted me to go the other way after this quest, because maybe there's something new over there. Anyway, whatever. We're gonna just teleport over here. Uh, yeah. And before we go to the future, which we may or may not have time for... Oh! That music. So Symphony of the Night. So good. Nice. This is cool. I can just shoot you from here. All across the entire screen. Perfect. This music, though, is so good. But I just want to try going up these two areas over here. Possibly. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I know where we are now. I think we have to use you as a stepladder. Oops. Alright. And... The marker, the red quill, we can't do that yet. That's like a door we couldn't open. But... We'll see. I just want to take a... Oh, yeah, there's this. I want to take a look. We got this again. Sand vial. Okay, hey. We need to... Can I get it? Nah. Too... Here, come here. Alright. What? Still too high? Come on. What? How come I can't get on this thing now? Stop, Oscar. You just... Wait a minute. Am I stuck? Oscar, you just messed everything up. Because <laughs> uh, that's how you get up there. You get a freeze time and jump on that magical attack. That's how I got up there last time. Hey. Okay. Whatever. I can't hit that thing for some reason. Or maybe because it was... Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what we have to do. Can we... Oh, come on. We just need him to go a little higher. But I need sand. Here. Now, can I even get on top of you now? Ah, oh, we ran out of sand. We That would have been it. Sand vial. We only have one. Do I have anything else that restores sand? I don't know. I don't know if these foods... You know, I have filigree tea. No idea. I can't use it. Huh. Oh, I'm, I have chaos effect. That's why. Chaos, it's going to drain... Okay, wait. I need to use a chaos rose. Or else that thing I just used is for not uh, chaos rose. Okay. So, let me climb up on top of you. 
We got it. Okay. And we get a fami a demon familiar. A devious little imp that loves to cause trouble. Oh, I'm so sorry, Oscar. So sorry. Uh, familiars. Oh, yeah. Nice. Damage is three. Well, we'll see what happens. Huh. Alright. Now, there has to be all the way up. All the way up. There's another one of these, probably. Alright, level up my little my little impish friend. My demonic revenant. So the reason why I could run into these things and they break and I don't have to attack them is because I'm using the scythe orbs or whatever. Scythe ring on these orbs. That is the reason why. It's so cool that I have my own demon. <laughs> yeah, so I could just walk. Alright, now... Just gotta keep going up. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Whoa, he shoots. I can't freeze. No. So, wait a minute. How do I get up here? Hey, you. I forgot. You're gonna get blopped. Potion. So, I need to go up the other way. All right. Wait a minute. So is that where I just came from? Nah, it's right here. Get out of my way. Oh my god, go. Leave me alone. Oh, dude. Here, you know what? I'm gonna kill you all from here. Ah, maybe. I'm gonna level these up and start doing a lot of damage. So that's cool he has a ranged attack. Is there anyone alive? Or did they despawn when I... Whatever. It's good. Good enough. You know what we need? We need a forward dash. I think we're gonna get one. Because we have uh, the trigger buttons go back and forth through your orbs. And then, right now, I have... <clears throat> wow. I have uh, the... Oops. Yeah, too close. I have the left bumper... And the left bumper allows us to uh, dash backwards, you know? So I And right bumper doesn't do anything. So I think there's going to be a forward dash, too. And that's how we're going to progress through, like, jumps that are too... Like, the one jump in the uh, ruins area. It's too far. So I think we're going to have to do a double jump and then a dash. That's just my theory so far. Midnight Cloak. I got like five of them now. Wait a minute. Oh, hey. See you later. All right. Royal Advisor. These guys are tough. So I have a lot of stuff to sell. He leveled up. Good. Keep leveling up. Guns. Guns versus m mages. <laughs> Alright, now we're just gonna skip you because you're annoying. Skip you too. I can't. Alright. Woo! Now, we have a save here. I guess we might as well touch that. And then. Oh, more treasure. Another Midnight Cloak. Man. Alright. What was over here? Oh, how do I... Wait, no. So there's something up there. I just can't get up there just right now. There's nothing to freeze here. Crap. Oh, crap. So I'm going to use a warp shard, I think, because we are way out of the way. I don't want to backtrack all the way down to that purple room where we came from. So, yeah, I'm going to use a uh, warp shard. Now, 
All right. Oops. I'll keep, I always do that. All right. Let's go. Oops. Right there. Into the ship again, where everything's really tough. Which, what am I even wearing? I'm still wearing the combat stuff. You know what? I want to go for damage. That's what the advisor had on. Midnight Cloak. I have three of them. Never mind. So defense goes pretty far down and fortitude. Damage is 36. Let's put on the... Defense goes down even more with this. Combat helmet. Damage goes down to 34. I think that's pretty good. Let's put on a combat helmet, midnight cloak. And then we're going to use guns. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully. Wait. Oh, skip? What? No, I don't want to skip it. Do you think it will work? We're talking about time travel here. Of course it won't work. Genza seems so sure. So sure, he sent one of his volunteers through. And did we ever hear from them again? Well, he thinks it's almost done now. Let's just hope we're not the next volunteers. Hey guys, go back to Iconoclasts. See you later. See you there. I'll be back in that game soon enough. Uh, okay. Now, what was I gonna do? I pressed start for some reason. See, look at that, eight and a half hours. 69% complete. We, yeah. See, I play through games slowly, I guess. <laughs> a lot more slowly than some of my subscribers. One of my subscribers got through this game in six hours. Now, that seems crazy to me. All right, now let's see. Wait, that was dumb. All right. So we got a force field. The guns are cool, but yeah. Can't use them for anything up close. We got a save, which is great. Do I want to go up or do we want to go down? Hmm. I'll check out over here real quick. Oh, we can't do that. Let me put a mark here. Yeah. Let's walk into it. It's obvious that we can't go through there. All right. Guess we're going up. <laughs> uh, hey, we got some data. Wreck farewell. The wreck program. War robots of extinct creatures. Okay, so that's what we've been seeing everywhere. Is finally being phased out. After its successful run of over three decades, including one transplanetary war, we have decided to discard all unused units. A part of me will miss wreck as its usage of long-since-dead animals as inspiration for each new model was always quite endearing to me. It was as if the designers were uttering a quiet apology for eradicating that animal's entire species, whether that extinction was intentional or not. <laughs> Nevertheless, the new technology that we are receiving from our mysterious ally is undoubtedly far superior to any unit from the REC program, be it in speed or cost, to simple lethality. Despite these new and exciting advances in science, a part of me will always miss the quaint little creatures from the wreck line. Wow. Yeah. High technology. So this is going to be... We're going to fight some alien over here. I mean, look. Okay, we can't go this way either. Oh, what is that? I see that. I want it. <laughs> okay, mark that too. See, I can't interact with this at all. I can't jump down either. Can't smash. Can I freeze time? Hmm. Interesting. I feel like I'm in, like, R-Type. Or also, uh, totally going up there. Wait. Right. I feel like I'm an R-Type and also... Oh, there's the cat. Well, I almost... Do I want to go down? I guess there's... We're going down. I'm trying to talk while doing this. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm an R-type or also like fantasy star. All right, going down to the incinerator room. Or the chest, the magic chest that somehow... Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. I am in the city once more. It has been many years since I made the journey, but we needed supplies, including some from Linnaeus' party. Her training is nearly complete, and she will be a time messenger as soon as the celebration is done. I'm so proud of her, but also so aware of the dangers and pain we were asking her to endure. I am also hoping to learn more about the Lashemi, perhaps get some clue to their movements, perhaps some information Lune can use to stop them forever. I examine a crate of Lashemi sons in the marketplace, hoping to get one for Lune. She won't understand the importance, but maybe one day. There's a large Lashem patrol nearby. It's not nearly as bustling as last time I was here. I casually scrutinize the sun as they pass, hoping to avoid attention. I'm unsuccessful. Selen? I recognize the voice. I turn as he takes off his helmet. He has a beard now. Blue is his hair, but it's definitely him. Nuvius, I say. That's Emperor Nuvius, one of his guards snarls. My eyes widen. It's okay, Karak, he smiles at me. I never thought I'd see you again. He moves to embrace me, and I fight the urge to recoil. There are so many soldiers. Emperor, I manage. He stays close when he rele releases me, and lowers his voice. Yes, I was merely a prince when I saw you last, and didn't want you to like me just for my power. But come, we must catch up. Dinner somewhere? I know a lovely little spot. He gestures a path through his squad of guards, and they part on command, snapping to attention. Emperor of Lashane, but what choice do I have? I nod. My father is the emperor, or is the emperor? My father is the guy I want to kill. My father is who we saw in the beginning of the game, trying to, who destroyed the time spinner and maybe killed my mother. That's my father. It's Darth Vader. Wow. To his credit, the spot he found for dinner is lovely. A view of the ocean, twilight surrounding us, a warm breeze rustling the trees. Still, I am profoundly uncomfortable. I've always hoped I would see you again, Nuvius says to me, pouring me a glass of wine. How come you never returned? I had other things to take care of, I say. Come, like what? I became a leader of my clan. Ah, wonderful. We are both leaders, then. That night, all those years ago, I meant what I said about wanting to find a wise ally. Truly, Nuvius, your people have taken so much from our world, I say, hoping his response will reveal the desire for self-improvement I remember. What we have taken, we have given back tenfold, he scoffs. I look down. But perhaps, I haven't had the right counselor, he recovers. I still think about that night so long ago, of the family we could have had, the family you do have. I try to hide my reaction, but I can tell by his that I've failed. What? He stops drinking his wine and looks at me. There's something you're not telling me. I had a daughter, Nuvius. I am stunned at my own admission. I'm panicking. I need to get out of here. His eyes widen. Is she? I nod reluctantly. A daughter? His eyes have lit up. That's perfect. That's wonderful. What's her name? Lune. I feel like throwing up. Lune, Selene, I'm so pleased. You must bring her to me. I shake my head and stammer. My clan is very private, Nuvius. We do not let outsiders. Who cares about your clan? He downs his glass of wine and pours another. I am the Emperor. You will come back with me, you and Lune. You can be my queen. We can rule the galaxy together. I'm speechless for a moment. What is all I can manage? What? Selene, I've wanted this for years. I love you. That's why I've wanted to see you again for so long. You can have anything you've ever wanted. Just come with me. We can be together forever. I balk. You love me? You knew me for three days, almost 20 years ago. And I never forgot you. I've always loved you. I longed for a family with you, and here my wish is fulfilled. Well, I'm sorry, Nuvius. It's not mutual. You were a fling. 
<laughs> you were fun, and you were an important infusion of new blood to our clan, but I never loved you. Wow, harsh. Nonsense, he says. I rule this world, Selene, and so many others. Think of that power, what we can do together, if you will be mine. You can rule with me. You're responsible for so much pain on this world. I can't stop myself from saying, Windaria chafes in your grip. It was powerful before you showed up. It doesn't matter as long as you're with me. No, I will never be with you. But you're mine, his voice is rising. I stand, suddenly very scared. You and my daughter, I will have you. I'm leaving, Nuvius. Fine, I don't need you, but I will have my daughter. Tell me where she is and you can go. Leave us alone. He lunges for me, but wine has made him sloppy already. I flee. You can't keep her from me, I hear him scream. I will find you, bitch. Oh, man. Wow. So that's what this is all about. It's about me. It's about Lune. It was never about time. Well, I mean, I'm sure that helps. The ability for him to control time, too. But he wants me. He wants his daughter. Dude. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going down. Don't fall on the acid. Alright. Uh, food synthesizer. What is that now? Please give me endless food. Uh, okay. A portable machine that creates food from raw materials. Okay. I'm losing my voice now. Man. Like, the story in this game, I am thoroughly impressed. I love it. Love it. Now, we have already been here. We poked our head in there, yeah. Can I get on top of this? I can. Perfect. And then, what was over here? Ooh. Ooh. Max hell. Yes. <laughs> Man. Ah, uh, okay. So we gotta go all the way back around. Whatever. We almost took a dip in the marinara. Some pretty bad marinara. It's green. Get up there. Alright. And... So I marked that... And that. We need to turn off this laser. We're going to save again. Ah. Oh, and we got to end this one. I'm going to end this one right here. It's perfect time. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.